you know, I want to talk about you growing up in L.A. I you know you grew up in South Central. Yeah, yeah. You know, take me through that growing up. Man, whoo. <laughs> <but. laughs> man, you know, it's just uh, you growing up and, like, man, you in the thick of things. And, like, you know, I always say, like, by the time I was four, like, I wasn't supposed to see a lot of a lot of the stuff you saw, that right? I've been, you know, that I've been in, you know what I mean? And it wasn't so much seeing it, it was like, you right there, firsthand experience, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You talk about, you know, growing up, you talking about the riots, you talking about the gangs, right. you just talk about the, like, you know, the post-traumatic stress, you know what I mean? And That's then like, with you, right? yeah, and then I look back at it and I look at all that as, as like a beautiful, you know what I mean? Like a, a beautiful storm. Right. And, you know, one, to be that young and to be in touch with, you know, so many things that are real, you know what I mean, and present. It means something. You know, it, it, it definitely gives you something, you know what I mean, some type of a perspective and appreciation for anywhere you go, you know what I mean? You play with that appreciation, just Heck knowing yeah. that when you, you know, when you come back home, just what it is. And, you Man. know, a lot of people don't know, when you out there for two hours and when you play, that's your freedom. That's it. I mean, for me, it's like, that's, that, I, I call it my sanctuary. Right. You know, that's my place of meditation. meditation that's the man. only place that I can go be and be myself. And if I'm judged, I'm comfortable being judged because mm, right. I can prove to people, you know what I mean? So people can get to know me because I can do this, you know right. what I mean? And, and, and I think for us athletes, anyway, from where we come from, it's such a, like, crazy situation because we usually come from the gutter. And then we pass everything else, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden we like multi-millionaires in this corporate environment, you know what I'm saying? So we don't really get the full, you know what I mean, spectrum of what it means to just be a real person that works and have a job, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, you, you, it's hard to, and then at the same time, it's just hard to find that common ground, that balance, because you, you're on two polar ends, of, uh, you know, on the spectrum. And a lot of people don't know that you can use one as an excuse and a crutch. Yep. Or you can use you can use it as a source of uh, encouragement. Absolutely. Take me through the riots when you're going through that. Going Man, through that. that was crazy because... Uh, Teenager, you 13, it's 92. 13, it's 92. Man, you know, my cousins is pulling up. Like, hop in the van, man. We done right. hit the lottery. So this with y'all on? <laughs> so the neighborhood is just going That's crazy hot. at this point? Right? Man, the neighborhood hot. You know, people like... I mean, it's, it's crazy because you're thinking like, man, it's, it's about to be Christmas. Right, you know what I mean? Right. It's like Christmas, back to school. Nobody's <laughs> thinking that Nobody we thinking, are up our Nobody thinking that we, doing nah, we, about, we gotta go to these stores the next day. I mean, I'm kind of thinking about no that. Doubt. But when they burning up, you know, the grocery store burned up around the corner from my house. The swap meet burned up down the street. And then for the next, you know, three or four months, like you walking day. around as rubble. Wow. And so I don't, I, I just think that, you know, it, it, you know, protesting and all that, that, it don't really serve no purpose unless there's a real solution behind it. And we saw firsthand with the riots that mm. right. they just let us do it. Right. Go burn it up. Right. And then you look up and you got all this peace right. because you can't you can't afford but have peace when you don't burn to everything up. up. And it's in your neighborhood that you got to see every day. And you got to see it every day. So mm. it's like you just, you looking at, you ain't got no hope, and then you watching all the no hope burn away. Right. You know what I mean? But you for find me, it in there, though, right? That was the motivation. You know, you I, I dug in as a kid to the menace to society, to like you know the pack and all, you know all the all the all, all the culture, right. and I let that kind of be like my steering guide through the, through hoop. That's you right. know what I'm saying? So when I hoop, you you can tell like. I'm playing for it. You know, that's why so many people can kind of connect to us, right. man, because we plan we plan from a different right. place. Right. You know what I mean? I'm right. playing for, you know, one, survival, and then appreciation. You know right. what I mean? Because I ain't supposed to be here, dog. No, and then not only am I supposed to be here, I'm, I'm sitting right. with Kevin Garnett. I'm a, you know what I mean? I'm, yeah. Man, so it's just like you a kid in the candy store at the same time, but you, like, you still got to survive because the fall. You know right. what I mean? The fall from grace is crazy. You know, it's crazy. You, you, you kind of never lose that either. You know, subconsciously and inadvertently kind of store it away. But, you know, we all are motivated off of not going back to, you know, the beginnings of what we know or those hardships. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad you shared that story, man. Yeah, I appreciate That's what's it. up, man. I know you got King on your Yeah, on your it's for my son, L.A. LA and King, so I just kind of... Kind of double, you know, kind of double meaning. Kind of like a L.A. King, if you will. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you took a, you know, 
you took a real movement in times where, you know, okay. a younger generation and then blew it up and coming from a negative situation. So that's yeah. what's up, BD. It was more so, you know. That's real, though. Just that's trying real. to be real, man, and let kids know that you come from the hood, you can be anything you want, because I did it, right. you know? That's real. That's real. Good messages in there, man.